as far as international trade is concerned, which is optimizing trade, transportation, and logistic operations for export markets. Uh, it is a very important topic in the sense that uh, we have seen COVID times wherein the entire logistics system of the whole world got affected and how we came out of it, we all know that. And uh, during that time, we also tried to devise ways and mechanism to uh, go around the process and still maintain our shipments. We have with us uh, Mr. Rajkumar Balotra, Chairman of uh, We also have with us Mr. Ravi K. Ravi K. Pasi, who is a former Chairman of PCH. <coughs> Mr. Prince Malik, he is a member of the Committee of Administration. And uh, we are also joined by two distinguished faculties, Mr. Manish Aluwadia and Mr. Malay Mukherjee. So these are the two experts who are going to guide us on today's topic. So before we uh, start the program, I would request our Chairman, Mr. Rajkumar Balotra, to welcome our guests with a bouquet of class. Uh, first to Mr. Manish Aluwadia and then to Mr. Malay. I would request Mr. Ravi Pasi to thank you, thank you very much. And now, uh, without wasting any time, uh, I would introduce Mr. Vanish Adhwadiya. Uh, he is an expert on the subject and he has over 25 plus years of experience, a diverse experience in the sense he has worked with <coughs> leading corporates like Tata, Adani, CCI, on Agro, on Cargo, or TriStar, so on and so forth. So, we would like to share uh, his experience, his expertise on the subject with us today. Uh, I would request him to make his presentation. And would request him to make it more interactive, in a sense, because uh, we have all gathered here on a Sunday, and I hope they are all free today. So, let's make it more interactive. And if there are any questions, you can ask the question. And we'll the video. Thank you for inviting me. This is my first participation in this forum. And I'm really delighted to come here. In fact, I received a call at a very short notice. I was traveling and in fact, I landed yesterday night. So please, uh, I beg for your forgiveness if you find the traces of unfriendliness in my presentation. Um, I thank Mr. Basi also. I had a very small interaction with him and I found him to be a real veteran of the trade. Uh, in fact, the, uh, the similarity is that, you know, uh, that will give a brief introduction about Mysore also. I think he's a founder member and when he started the, this initiative in 1992, that's right. So that is the time when I, my uh, logistic career took birth, you know. In 1992, I started working for a PSU called Container Corporation of India Limited. And I started working at a first flagship uh, container terminal, cargo terminal, which was at Pragati Mela. That was the first initiative of Concord. So let me begin with this uh, fact with you, sharing this fact with you. And uh, I have basically prepared a presentation dedicated to the exporters. And I'm I have tried to cover all operational and commercial aspect of uh, all your business, you know, all your challenges to keep facing. Them. So the presentation could be a little bit uh, longer and boring also. So I would like you to make it more lively by asking questions. I don't know whether the question could be Park for the end of the session, or I think in between also people can ask. In between, that's okay with us. Okay. I'm fine either way. So uh, the topic given to me is optimizing freight transportation and logistics operation for commercial markets. I think I have to be very specific on handicraft commodity. Am I right? Yes. So I have designed this presentation. I started by seven o'clock in the morning. It was too difficult and challenging for me, but I could complete it by twelve o'clock and send it. So I, I have tried sharing my experiences, you know. As uh, Mr. Rawat introduced me that I had been working with uh, PSU and Indian conglomerates and also multinational shipping companies, you know. There used to be a company like PNO Netroid which was acquired by Merck Line. So I had the opportunity of working with various shipping lines, freight forwarders, consolidators and also uh, manufacturer exporter. So <clears throat> the recent stint was with a company who used to and almost around 5,000 container a month. So I can really understand the challenge you have been facing. So let me try sharing it 
as a service provider and also at the other side of the table as a client host. So the flow of presentation and the topics which are going to be covered are following. I will give a very general awareness of exit frame so that you are uh, abreast with the latest happening, what is happening in our trade. This is the heart of my presentation. This is going to be uh, giving you a complete identification of all the stakeholders which you have been communicating with. All are your vendors, you are dealing directly, indirectly. Even I have tried touching upon your customers also. Of course you know better than me but still I have tried to you know, put in some points. As I mentioned, I have tried covering roles uh, and direct and indirect impact into your business. These impact would be operational as well as commercial both. The practices and new trends, there are a lot of things happening. Logistics is uh, no, no more a sunrise industry, you know. It is a full-fledged industry. We are comparing ourselves with China today, you know. So there's a lot of new trends and new practices which I'm sure you will be aware of, but then you know, let's have an interaction there. So buzzword, digitization and technology. Of course, our industry is not uh, kind of uh, uh, anywhere behind uh, in containerization and digitization of technology here. So that technology has, is playing a very vital role, particularly the time which we have seen like COVID time. So technology actually made this industry keep moving ahead. I will be covering a little bit about EFC, it is a game changer in our industry. I think no logistic forum is complete without mentioning about EFC, dedicated freight corridor is going to be a game changer. Pradhan Mantri, Gati Shakti Master Plan, I will touch upon that also. I am sure you will be having, you know, you have our latest updates also, you keep reading the newspaper and you are into the media and you keep getting a lot of information or your mails and all, but still I will try to achieve it. We will also discuss on the national logistics policy and then question answer as I said, said you can have it in between or we can like park it for the end of the session. Why I have picked up particularly ocean freight rate, uh, ocean industry rather than air freight industry is just because the reason 95% of the vol volume and the 70% of the value of the complete global, I am not talking about only India, global, globally it is moving on through maritime transportation. So I think it is very important to stress more upon ocean transportation rather than any other mode of transportation. This sector employs around 22 million people and is expected to touch for 1.2 billion by 2025. Like recent news was 12, we have 12 major ports in India, you know, like for example GNPT. So uh, combined together, I think it has been a record breaking uh, tonnage handling at these ports, which is around 795 million tons. Export Promotion Council, 500 certification and we deal with 10,000 commodities in India. So how vital this trade is, you know, it, it is self justifying it. We have 200 shipping lines, 36 service providers, logistic services, I'm sorry, which includes multimodal transportation, rail, road, air. We have 129 inland container depots and 166 container freight stations, which is growing in numbers every day, I would say. Lot of new uh, CFSs are mushrooming up, you know, you might have seen, you know, there is a new, there is a lot of privatization which has taken place. Gone are the days when we, I started my career with a PSU. You know, they had a monopoly for almost more than two decades. So today is a time when there is a very stiff competition between the PSU as well as amongst all the private operators. And these are private operators are not Indian companies, these are all multinationals, you know, who are either a shipping company or overseas port operators. So they are also operating the ICTs today. We will go in more details also. The country spends around 16% of the GDP. I think in all the forums you keep hearing all that, you know. Every time, you know, we have this logistic cost bahut jada hai as compared to any other nations like Germany or Japan where it is around 8 to 9 percent. So, what is the component of this very high logistic cost? I think let's analyze this and it is a, like, we can have a debate also on this. You know, everybody might be paying something more than the other person, you know, as under the logistic cost. So, let's understand this today. Well, the good sign, let's not only uh, 
talk about the gloomy picture here. I think uh, the bright spot is that India jumps to sixth uh, place to the rank of 38 out of 139 countries. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is the logistic performance index, which is uh, kind of uh, displayed by World Bank. So this is the official news, you know, international news that. Uh, India has jumped to 6 places and it is today at 38th place, China is at 10th place. So I think this rating is on the basis of ease of doing business, logistic cost, infrastructure. So let's cover all those points today. I will try to be very fast because I have more people you know, to speak to. Let's understand your stakeholders, not mine. I am one of your stakeholders. You know. So we will identify the stakeholder their importance, their role, their impact on your businesses. Customer is a broker, you know. It is very casually being taken, you know, this entity. It is a very important entity. I would like to go in more details. I'll try to speak about each stakeholder and how it is impacting your business. And I will also hear from you that what you feel about it. Freight forwarders, NBCCs, I generally say Ubers and Olas of our trade, you know. Shipping lines, of course. NVCC, I have written it twice because NVCC is non vessel operating common carrier. It becomes sometimes a forwarder, sometimes it becomes a shipping line. But it is generally a non asset based company. Transporter, again, very, very important. Huh? First point and last point, you can't forget. Surveyor, indirect vendor of yours. So I am going to cover indirect and direct player who is impacting your business. I have specifically mentioned also who is your direct and who is your indirect stakeholder in this. Consolidator who deals with NCL business, I will go into more detail. How he, he how this company can save your cost, you know, I will work on that. ICD, CFS, multimodal logistic pass, park operators, private train, container train operator. I am using this word private because it's no more a monopoly business of PSU. I don't know to name them, I think you understand more than me, you know. Customs authority, of course, I will not be touching but too much on that, you know, more than me, you know. And your customer. Alright. Have I missed anything? Have I covered everything, sir? Anybody becomes a uh, NBOCC, you know, there is no entry value. This is the only entity here who clears the exam and enters into the industry after taking the certification from customs. So he represents you in Indian customs. So very very vital role he plays because he is your representative to Indian customs. <coughs> he lies with everybody. He lies with transporter, ICT, shipping line, your factories. So you see, he is such a key player who actually deals with everybody. So why should not be talking about him? And he could be a reason to bring your cost down also because he deals with everybody. He could be your consultant, your uh, uh, advisor, you know. So in today's scenario, when most of the business is, has come on wire, where the transaction is not taking place physically, so more of a advisory roles are important, you know. right? Must keep you updated on all notifications. You know, I am going to give live cases which I have witnesses. You know, there are a lot of exporters who started blindly using some new facility who is offering less, uh, <coughs> very cheap railway freight, transportation, terminal activity was very, very kind of cost effective. But later on, they kind of were trapped, I would say, when they was not benefited by the schemes of customs, you know, because that ICD was not even notified. So how important this player is for you that he has to guide you, which is the better ICD, which is the better cargo terminal, where all the custom notification has been done, which is very well rail connected, you know, to the ports, where the first mile and last mile is the best, you know. So there are so many factors and this is the guy who actually enter these premises of ICDs and CFSs on a daily basis. So whatever latest changes taking place, or the competition, he is well versed off. He carries every, all documentation for you and do not forget, today's scenario, there is security filing for your shipment, you know. If you are sending shipment by sea, I don't know even by air, you are supposed to give advanced cargo declaration, right? 24 hours prior to the vessel sailing, all the details must be with US customs. So he is the person who is facilitating all that. 
he lies in with shipping lines, you know, he lies in with customs authority. So he prepares all the documentation and ensures that you know everything is there in US custom well on time. Else what is going to happen? There is going to be a heavy penalty and your container could be, I am sorry to use this word, deported on arrival of the port of discharge. So, so I started with this, uh, uh, this company because I know that how important it is actually. And if I have worked for a company like Adani, you know, at a greenfield project, I could see the importance of these people. They are the people who can build up the ICTs and even destroy also. <coughs> Must understand your commodity very specifically. You know, what are the details, what are the custom benefits, what, how these commodities are being handled at ICTs, you know. What kind of special equipment or special activity or special precautions are required, you know, to be carried out while handling your commodity. I'm sure few of you have very fragile commodities which has to be handled with care. So air I understand you know, but in sea freight you cannot expect that uh, kind of a sensitiveness uh, of handling you know, your, your, your commodities. So your CHA must understand that. Of course you will do excellent packing and everything you know, but once it goes to the terminal, if it is mishandled, then you know there is a lot of damages of food service. Very important, huh? this is very important. I want to stress on this. This is basically an international practice. See, you have news that you have to go to the house. There is a lot of mishap. Fire, vessels catches fire. The whole commodity goes uh, in vain. Now, what Shipping Line has done? There is an international convention. It's called SOLAS. Safety of life at sea. We are talking about life of the sailors, you know, here. So, as you can see, we are not So, you might have heard this word BGM, right? Verified gross mass. You have to declare correct weight of your goods to Indian customs. And it is not going to be verified by customs. It will be weighed again at the terminal. They are supposed to do that. It is under DGFT. DGFT has certified those, uh, what do you call it, uh, payment bridges. Without their certification, those with bridges are invalid, which means that BGM is a legal document. And if there is any discrepancy between the weight, you will be called upon. And who is doing your activity? CHA. Advisor consultant, keeping you abreast on all development and practices. I think, uh, uh, can I can I know from somebody whose factory is farthest from Delhi? Anybody can raise it. Your workplace or your factory or your office from where you send your goods. Kitna duri mein hoga? Who is having the farthest factory sitting here? Anybody can help me? Say from ICD actually. You need to say from ICD? ICD? No, no, I'm from Delhi you can say. <laughs> anyway, what I am trying to say is, if you run, if you you are sitting on a Shatavdi train from Punjab and or any train and you move into Rajasthan, I think you will face around 10 to 15 ICDs on, on the way, which has mushroom. You cannot work everywhere. You have to really pick and choose and you are lucky to have this. Otherwise, what time mein kya tha? TKD we call it. That was Asia's biggest ICD. Why? Because there was no other ICD came up actually. 45,000 TUs was handled as a throughput on a monthly basis at the heart of the city. South Delhi ke andar itni badi ICD hai, Asia's biggest. So look at who has chosen that place. I'm sorry to say I'm not bad mouthing about anybody. I'm a part of that team actually and they trained me. That was a gateway for me to come into shipping and logistics. <laughs> So, so, I think he plays a very important consulting, <coughs> consulting role also in your business. So, I think I have oversold CHA business to you. And he gets the minimum charges. Huh? Let's come to the Olas and Ubers. Why I am calling it? Because non asset based. In apna kuch bhi hai. Neither they have a truck, nor they have a train, nor they have a ship, nor they have a container. And if you talk about air freight, similar thing. They do not own any aircraft. But they are even bigger than a shipping company or an airline today. 
we have a multinational freight forwarder who are operating in 160 countries worldwide with their own offices. Right? So they become overnight, they become pretty big in size and very lot of muscle power. You know? They dictate their terms of shipping lines. 95% of shipping business are carried by them today. Non asset. They work very closely, I mean like very on a day night basis, you know, they speak with shipping lines. Uh, you might have seen uh, since the time of COVID, the freight rate was going up and down. It has reached to the peak, what, $15,000 to New York. And today, how much? It's like $3,000. What is the freight rate to Singapore? $20. So, it's a very strange industry and I would like to explain you how it works actually. If I could, you know, justify that role of explaining. So, they work very closely with carrier. Work means they negotiate, you know, they commit certain volumes to lines and everything. Is three thousand dollars? Yes. Uh, for a forty feet. Twenty feet is two thousand dollars. Two thousand. Yes. See, Europe freight lane, which is the biggest freight lane in India, today the freight rate uh, which governed by the exporter today is around eight hundred dollars, and forty feet is thousand dollars, and it's reached to eight thousand dollars <laughs> during the COVID period. You know? Look at it. It is so strange actually. Same container, same ship, same voyage, same transit time. आपको कोई कोई flexible container नहीं दिख रहा जो बड़ा हो जाता है यू नो same type of container यू नो which 20 meter stuff around 25 cubic meter and 40 meter stuff 55 cubic meter तो उसी में ही यू नो वो बड़ा तो दुआ नहीं है कोई rubber का तो दुआ नहीं होने so this thing actually happened of course I mentioned about they are very much important for you because they indulge in security for you uh, ACD is for US, which is an advanced cargo declaration, and ENS is also there for Europe, which is the uh, entry summary uh, details. So, so uh, there is a surcharge which is imposed by the forwarder on the exporter, but this is something very mandatory, so you cannot uh, kind of escape from it. So, now, these people have become very, very smart. So, booking a cargo is just like traveling and taking a cab today. What they have done is, they have come up with portals and I won't say only freight forward. I think they copied it from the shipping line. Shipping line came first, you know, when they brought in all their ocean freight rate, all their freight into the portal, into their website. But these freight forwarders have worked one step ahead. They have on a global level. They are offering you a digital platform where you can pick up any origin and any destination. And they will offer you ocean freight rate, origin charges, destination charges, surcharges, So, I would say it's a very nascent stage. It's not that everybody is jumping to use them like we are booking the cab today. It's not going, it is not working like that. It may sound very fancy, you know, digitization is a buzzword everywhere. But today, I have seen most of the exporters are very much using it as a reference for reference sake, what is the freight rate going on right now, they enter and they check and they keep a control on the forwarder and the CHA and the shipping line. So this is a very excellent uh, reference check, but they will go beyond these huge investment has not taken place only for the reference, uh, reference purpose. I think you guys are going to be using it as often as you are booking the cab or you are buying the groceries. So uh, the portals have already come out. Not only one, there's so many of them, you know, today. I don't want to name them because it is kind of selling on their behalf, so I'm not going to talk about them. Why are they successful? I categorize freight forwarder into three categories. One is small Indian freight forwarder, who is nobody but a CHA turned into a freight forwarder because he has been dealing with you for so many years and he knows inside out about your business. And he negotiates with shipping line also because he has been interacting with shipping line also. So by default he has become a freight forwarder. Now then there is a mid-level freight forwarder which is like an Indian or an international companies. That is number two. Number three category is the heavyweights. They are so heavy that they are ten times bigger than even the shipping company today. Why and how? 
they have been focusing only on door to door, door, door delivery, end to end logistics, a complete integrated logistics solution without having a single asset in, into their pocket. No container, no train, no tra uh, uh, trailer, no ship, no container. They only have a document called House Bill of Trading or their FCR for order cargo receipt. And they have been pretty much successful and very smart business, I would say. And they snatched this business from the carrier, who is an asset based company. I'll just come to that also. And brought whole business, 95% business into their fold, you know. So it's a very important entity which you cannot do away with today. You know. I would put it like that. They offer excellent track and trace. You go to DHL, you go to Kiona Nagar. You go to, uh, okay, I'm taking a few names here, Expeditors, I think what they offer in New York, similar service they are offering in Delhi, as far as track and trace is concerned, you get a real-time updates, you know, on their websites. So they have invested huge amount of money, you know. There's an Indian company also where, where I have worked with, it's called All Carbon Logistics, and uh, I was the regional head for North India. I think they realized it three years back, before COVID, and they brought into this called uh, EQ360, EQ their, their overseas company, a software package. And I think because of that, they, they had a huge amount of earning in, during the COVID. Because nobody was prepared, you know, that how important digitalization is going to be. Because you cannot leave your home, you cannot reach to your office. So how you are going to do documentation, how you will do track and trace, everything is there. I really make a comparison when I actually go for uh, diagnosis through Lal Path Labs or all, you know. They have this portal, you know. Today, you go and, uh, you know, they will have a complete history about you. After uh, five years back, you know, what was your report? Similar thing, your shipment details are well preserved into their systems. You can find all the detail about your shipment, come uh, transshipment mein aaya tha, ya direct, kya transit time tha, kahan delay hua tha, kubhi damage hua tha, ya scene missing hui thi. Now these are generally appointed by your buyers. See, you maybe you could one of you could be a very small exporter, but you deal with a huge retailer like Costless, Target Store, Walmart, Tuesday Morning, Bombay Company, uh, Tesco. So I. I am not surprised that one small exporter in Muradabad or Jaipur, Jodhpur or in NCR region actually ships it to or Panipat exporter. You know, I think one of the exporter I know, I think he has not left any of the buyer, you know, and he has not gone to sell once. Those people have come to their doorstep because I think the textile commodity is very specific. It is better than China. So, so I think because of that reason, he is dealing with everybody. Now, where I want to stress upon, these exporters, has have learned the system of the buyer so well, all the compliances. Now, on the gate, you can see that child labor prohibited. What is it? Because you know, there, was a, there was a compulsion that you, know, you cannot bring the child into your labor. So, a lot of guidelines have been followed by the big global retailers, wholesalers. You know, now the e commerce company has come up. Amazon is doing business here. You won't even imagine. I have been handling. Uh, 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 this Amazon business, you know, the exports into Chicago and wherever. They have the biggest warehouse in Chicago, so they have their own uh, compliance. You have to follow each and every compliance, you know. So they are also teaching us in a way that global scenario we have to logistic handle. It could be costly, but then you can't live it without it. You have to follow the uh, compliance very, very strictly. Shipping lines. It is very easy for you, everybody has dealt with them, which, which hard and fast to handle, they are not into rocket science, they are only doing port to port. But it's a asset based company, Sare ship unke hai, containers unke hai, and today they own few terminals also worldwide. So they are the owners of the terminals also. Now they have learned so hard way that today when they earn so much money during COVID, they try buying out the freight forwarding companies also. Like CMS, EGM have bought over Siva Logistics, you know. Musk is entering into their land side business of end to end solutions. You know. So they realized that, you know, it is late, but it is like not late, never. They have a very strict SOP to follow. You have to follow the SOPs, you know. 
each shipping line has their own SOP, but they are generally like common ones. Majority 95, in, I think when 95 thoda conservatively put on, 99% of the area. Order is giving the business to the shipping line. They have lost a lot of business to forwarders. I'm, I'm going very fast, you know, if you want to ask any question, please raise your hand. You know. They sign long term contract with forwarder as well as basic cargo owners. BCOs are UP. You know, exporter and importer are the BCO, basic <coughs> cargo owners. They, you commit certain volumes. They will give you special rates. Now, forwarder ka ek aur game bhot bada kya hai? Like, if you are an exporter, he deals five, with five another exporter like you, who has similar volumes. Suppose aapke 100 container a month hai, and other people are also doing 100 people, so 500 ke basis se wo negotiate karta hai. And he lands up getting a very very good rate from shipping line. Now, shipping line cannot approach all those five people. Neither these five people have that uh, negotiation power, you know, to negotiate with the line. So they land up going to this freight forward. It's a very smart business trade. So, so he signs a contract. On the basis of your volume, he gives the commitment to the shipping line and negotiate rates, has his margin, and send it to you. Now, for you guys, there's a service contract being signed for a year. Now, now if you're an exporter, I have, as a shipping line, I can offer you a service contract rates which is valid for one year and you have to commit certain uh, MQC, minimum quantity commitment. Now there is a knife which cut both ways. You will end up getting a better freight rate but if you do not uh, fulfill the quantity commitment, you will be paying dead freight also. Who has got the maximum inventory in the world today? <laughs> Number of containers. I think they are port to port. They come to Navasheva, throw so many containers, pick up the export volume and fill their ships. Shipping line are so busy on fulfilling their vessel. You know. The utilization becomes most critical. It is just like a uh, uh, like a bus which goes from point one Delhi to point B Jaipur, and the capacity of bus is like 100 passenger and 50 passenger goes light. Then they are in panic actually. Then they offer start offering you some better freight uh, fares also. You know. So so this business is no way different than supply and demand scenario. They offer excellent track and trace. I am again. Uh, repeating it because what freight forwarder does, shipping lines do it even better, but still you do not use them directly. <coughs> they are generally on your export for FOB terms. Your consignee actually informs you whom to use. He appoints a freight forwarder as well as shipping line. When the shipping line appoints you, the freight forwarder will appoint you. Am I right? Yeah. Both of you so, so now you are more comfortable. He <laughs> will come. It's just that you know they are putting so much thing in you that you know we will do everything for you. And he organizes well on time pickup, you know, whether even for the LCL shipment, surprisingly. For your air freight shipment, you know, they pick up from your premises. And all guaranteed services are the container goes or cargo goes for a toss. You know, they deliver on time actually. As I mentioned, purely supply demand, purely. US ke liye ek surcharge hota hai, jo America mein ek Christmas time aata hai, to kya shipping line karti hai? Peak season surcharge. <coughs> PSS bolte hai, peak season surcharge. Which goes to up to 500 dollars for a container. Now, if the vessel is going light, they will compromise. You know, they will say that they have to mitigate the price of the But if now they have this uh, grape season also, you know, which comes in and the vessel goes absolutely full. You know, the grape goes from Nagpur and somewhere. No, Nagpur and grapes. So the vessel goes full. Now, it doesn't have to be free. The next day, suppose you are continuously giving shipment to a shipping line like was. This is like no commitment. Then you will have a bad feeling also. Yeah, what is that? I have been supporting him for such a long time and today he is just telling me once plain sentence he is afraid to you know, three times other. So, no approach has been like. That's why they have been losing in, in the hand of forward. Transporter. I think as CHA, very important. Because he takes care of your first and last one. He is the guy 
सी सपोज सारा बाई सी आ गई बाई ट्रेन आ गई शिपमेंट आपकी या एक्सपोर्ट की आई एम सॉरी आई टेक एन एक्सपोर्ट दे आपने यहाँ से अपने यू नो फैक्ट्री से निकाल दिया टिकट से भी चले गया बाई रेल भी चले गया पोर्ट में भी आपका यू नो बहुत कंजेशन था फिर भी यू मैनेज इट टू गेट इट सेल्ड एस ओ बी अराइव हो गया वहाँ पे एंड एट द लास्ट माइल इज अ प्रॉब्लम यू नो द ट्रक्स आर नॉट अवेलेबल द होल सप्लाई चेन गोज फॉर द टॉस राइट सो ट्रांसपोर्ट इन माई आई इज बिकम वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंट्रोड्यूस टू डेज सिनारियो बिकॉज पीपल लाइक एनी डिजिटल प्लेयर हु इज इन लॉजिस्टिक्स एम फे साइज ऑन लास्ट माइल आपका ये जो है जैप्टो और जोमैटो आई थिंक इट्स अ लास्ट माइल द गेम इज लास्ट माइल ये जो स्कूटर वाले छोटे छोटे आते हैं अगर ये परफॉर्म ना करे तो गुड्स तो पहुंचेंगे नहीं वहां पे ना बोथ एसेट बेस्ड मीन ट्रेडिशनल वन नॉन एसेट मीन्स गाइस आई आई टी एन जो आई 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 टेल यू आई गिव गिव यू एग्जाम्पल आई यूज देम in my exports you know when i was looking for a manufacturer this new tech transporter this absolutely great guys they are far better than any technology in the world today you know this one company who has come up with a national trucking platform means he has registered all the transporter in his platform ab wo bata raha hai ki wo ye jaise ghar pe aapko cab chahiye same no difference so maine company ka naam bhi bata diya that one zinka logic like a great mind you know non set a truck near to us and he say what i have thousand trucks or something like that like give the number on his website and you are compelled to use them because wo uh, gps laga hua hai tracking ho rahi hai sari pilferage nahi hogi driver idhar udhar bhag hi jayega chutti lega fuel kahan se bhar raha hai wo sari tracking ho rahi hai usko it gives you complete visibility of your uh, freight as well as bringing the cost down also critical part of last mile for first and last mile very critical jitne purane transporter hai they are all on the on the line that dealt with them you know and very fragmented do do teen teen trailer leke transport par ban jate hain and they do not really value your goods you know now i think the new generation asset based the still understanding but to purane wale the to bilkul hi typical transporter the in fact i remember when i came into this industry logistics was not a word which it was used it was transportation other you know so transport is looked upon in a very primitive kind of a way you know, in our in our country so uh, so transporter also is kind of even today there is a huge room of improvement you know among the transporter also real time status deta hu agar gaadi kharab bhi ho gayi hai you will come to know because he is giving you that visibility where you could see that your goods are not moving you will call up and say ki kya ho gaya he will explain you completely kitne time mein theek hoga kit kab jayega ya replacement kar rahe hai truck ka wo sari service deta hai it would be having some drawbacks i am not saying i am not trying to kind of over sell you this thing inka jo system hai it speaks to the system of service provider and clients आपके सिस्टम के साथ वो इंटरफेस करता है वो होता है ना एपीआई एप्लीकेशन बेस्ड समथिंग यू नो इंटरफेस एप्लीकेशन बेस्ड इंटरफेस एप्लीकेशन आई एम सॉरी एपीआई हां सो व्हाट दे डू इज दिस सिस्टम स्पीक टू योर सिस्टम जो 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 आपको चाहिए वो उससे मांग लो उससे ज्यादा आप बोलो आई विल नॉट गिव यू एक्सेस ऑफ दिस थिंग इन माय सिस्टम यू विल डिफाइन दैट so what i mean to say is that he is gone little further you know he is integrating with your buyer also with you also with your vendors also you know so he is trying to give you a complete one platform for you to give a have a complete visibility of your shipment right from the door pick up till the delivery you know. completely supply chain supply demand driven everything in this industry is supply demand driven freighted goes up and down just because if there is a huge supply available you know then the rate goes down if there is a huge demand which takes place then the you know rate goes up now see even today also you are authorizing a chn forwarder to appointment transporter you know 
you have still not taken it very seriously because uh, we have very few VCO, which is basic cargo owners, nobody else but exporter like you, who basically appoints the transporter by themselves. Otherwise, you authorize your CHA, you see, CHA and transporter, we still do not, uh, you know, kind of uh, give that respect or, you know, what dignity need they have that new thing, you know, he is one of the service providers, he is the integrated service operator. So, uh, that few importance must be given to him. And especially to, to these new generation transporters. I think they will really solve your lot of problems. Now, this is a very new concept for exporter, I must tell you. He is sentence but I want to elaborate. <coughs> factory stuffing, now this factory stuffing, is basically has changed a bit. Now there is something called ECU which has come up, which is nothing but RFIDs, which means all the data of your shipment are being put into that seal through the technology, put it on a container which can be traced. Jaha container jara hai, track seal se aap trace kar sakte ho. Government has taken an initiative under Niti IO. They have offered your portal service. It's called LDV, Logistic Portal uh, uh, Bank, you know. Now that service basically gives you a visibility, you type in any container number, it will give you, it will show you the uh, status, where it is, which means that they have captured the data of all the ports in transit and at destination also, or other way around for your export. From the place of receipt of cargo, en route, till the final place of delivery or port of discharge, port of loading. So they have tracked everything there. So these LDVs, have given you the accessibility of the shipment so that you know where the shipment is actually. So, this factory stuff container without coming into an ICD or a CFS can go directly to the port. Right? Terminal ke bahar custom will inspect the seal, E seal, and would allow your export to take place. Let go there. You are not bringing the goods to the ICD, there is no uh, multiple handling of your goods. You know, the container goes, stuffed sealed container from your factory goes directly into your into your port of loading terminal. So that is saving almost around ten thousand dollars for a container. Surveyor, I, I will not stress too much. I'll just give you an overview. Surveyor is important, he makes the tally sheet. Survey reports, all legal document, other damage hota hai, ya koi mishap hota hai, ya accident hota hai, joint survey yehi karta hai. Where he is an international licensed authority, you know, ye bhi exam pass karke aayo. So, he makes the joint survey of your goods if unfortunately some mishap has happened. So, court of law will honor these documents of the surveyor. Not shipping line alone, ki bill of lading dekhi jaya hai. Sir, shipping lines depend on their survey report tally sheets, getting get out reports, you know, sound condition of a container, they, they mention everything in their report. I am not going to dwell too much time on this. So this is appointed by a shipping line, you do not appoint. So it is an indirect vendor to you. You are not paying him money, you indirectly may pay it, you know, you pay to the shipping line, shipping line pays to them. So, Surveyor actually is very important for CHA, uh, shipping line, ICD and of course for exporter. So, shipping line appoints them but also ICD which is custodian of your cargo appoints the surveyor. So, they work in a cluster like Omas line appoints one particular surveyor for North India. For West Delhi, India. Pure India, ke liye India. India becomes one single cluster. So, I do not want to spend more time. You want anybody want to know more about it? Joint survey, I have already mentioned it. In fact, to Raste mein bhi agar white track aapne bhej diya factory ke liye, udar koi track ulta ho gaya, sorry, don't find it, you know. These things do happen in our industry, that's why I was mentioning. So, joint service of survey hota. Shipping line wala nahi posta ho, apne na CHA posta. Who, who reaches there? A survey reaches there. So, it becomes a very important entity actually. Legal document. Sir, I have missed in my introduction, I have completed my LLM in very time also. <laughs> so, so, I know how critical these documents are actually, when somebody, somebody gets stuck, unfortunately. Consolidated. 
Anybody doing LCL less than Cutter and Most of them. Most of them. Oh, very good. So this is a very passionate subject of mine because in 8th of October 2012, I was instrumental in bringing. I will say I because I have a pride in saying that to shift LCL cargo from Patpadganj into TKD. Because Patpadganj, can you imagine? I'll give you share one incident, and I'm very open about it. Why not? It's your cargo. It's your valuable cargo. They basically started using Loni as a rail siding. Loni, do you remember? Yes. वहाँ पे console cargo, 40 fitter with 22 shippers cargo in one container was sitting for 15 days to be railed out from Loni. How can you expect using their facility? A LCL less than container or container. So we brought it. It's a case study. I do not want to talk too much. I have a very this is a very passionate topic for me. It is a win-win situation for a shipping line, exporter, ICD, CHA, everybody. TKD is a perfect example, you know, which is very successful, where Concor offer an e-filing facility also. Otherwise, kya ora tha? when your cargo was coming at, T even today also, TKD is an exclusive place in North India, Jhapar LCL cargo. They, they do around 1000 containers a month, console. When we started, you all people sent their goods over there, but then you know they are not capable to handle it. If you are if you are very conversant with that area, Tuklagabad say the vehicles reach in Kalka Mandir. You know, why are you Why? Because CHA was coming around 11 o'clock and asking for the gate pass. So Concord gave an excellent facility where one day in advance <coughs> gate pass was given to the trans CHA and he gives it to a transporter. Transporter drivers fix the cargo in a container factory. Oh, sorry. LCA can never be factory stuff. It has to bring to the ICT. So he brought along with the gate pass in his pocket actually. So there was an entry which was given at the mid of the night. As soon as it arrived, it was allowed to enter. When CHA guy comes, they generally come by at 10 or 11 o'clock. The operation starts. Carting, offloading, carting, custom inspection, then stuffing. So the whole cycle actually was very, very fast. In fact, exporter initially when this was became very successful, he says, Are we never expected it is going to be so fast, you know. Calvinator refrigerator, you know. So exporter was saying we were not even prepared for that. You know? Cargo has stopped and next day it has reached to port of loading and the document was not ready, you know. So, it is a perfect example, a case study which is a, again a win-win situation. LCL has come a long way, you know, it is increasing every day and the freight rate is very, very competitive, very competitive and good for you because, you know, whatever you produce, you send it. On a daily basis, you can send it. So, the consolidator, uh, you know, actually controls your freight at the terminal, aggregate the cargo and you will be surprised in a place like Tuklagabad, 50 direct destination direct console goes. Direct console means New York, Felix Stowe, uh, Rotterdam, or New Zealand, or uh, uh, Brisbane, you know, these uh, Singapore. So, lot of cargo container goes to direct destination from TKT itself. Or Namashiva, there are around 90 to uh, 100 destination as a full, full container load chapter. The direct console can go. So, LCL has, there has been a very big development, but you will be surprised only 30% of the cargo gets stuck at ICD. 70% of the cargo still goes in a breakable condition to the port because we can't wait. Nahi and still it is cheaper to go by road. I am being very honest about it, but it is not safe. Right? Again, he has a house bill of non-asset base. Kuch bhi iska kutka nahi hai. Warehouse bhi nahi hai. He only has got a document called House Bill of Lading. He issues to you. He takes the Master Bill of Lading from the shipping line on his name. And what document he issues to you is a negotiable document. On the basis of House Bill of Lading. And he works on a CFS, only CFS board, which means that you have to send the cargo to the designated warehouse of the consolidator. And at the destination also, the consignee has to approach you, your counter, the consolidator's counterpart, to take the delivery from his warehouse at destination. So it's a CFS CFS mode. Or in a layman language, you can say warehouse, public warehouse mode. 
nominated by the buyer and locally also. You also appoint him and there is a nomination also. Both cases. Warehouse to warehouse. He, freight, he negotiates the freight on your behalf. He takes one box rate and then gives you LCL rate. Per cubic meter or per ton. He gives like uh, five dollars you know, to Singapore per cubic meter. It was like that. Or you will be surprised. Now you, I cannot answer your questions if you ask me listening to this. Is that they also sell in negative. They also sell in negative. Which means you give the car and you will get money from it. That was the case for the Dubai. I am sorry? That was the case for the Dubai. That's right actually. For Dubai, for many other uh, destinations. Because they charge exorbitantly from your buyer and they are capable enough to pay you back. You know. It's not a very good practice. I don't think it is following, following the you know, rules of the country. <coughs> they do not function only as an ICD operator today. They will offer you last mile, first mile, they become your transporter, they will offer you custom clearance. <coughs> In fact, a company called DP World has even bought over a shipping line. So they want to sell you the freight rate also. So it has become so competitive, very good for you, no? Let them offer, if it suits you well, you can pick up. Right? I'll, I think I should move very fast. CTO is another game which has come in. Because there are 18 more players who have got a license to run their own private trains. They are called private container train operator. And it's not that you cannot use them directly. Import ke liye it is imperative that you pay to the shipping line and shipping line will pay to the CTO. But here, for export, you can do on merchant hall. Exporter can pay directly to the rail operator also. Lot of rice exporter from that whole belt of Karnal are negotiating excellent freight rate from the CTOs. They have taken a package deal just by transportation till their factory, rail operation, terminal operation. This is not single with uspe package. Mein diya because the volume also is like what? Uh, I think from that belt itself there is a thousand container to use market, you know, what if it is. So ICD is like Gadi <coughs> to my ex place. I had an uh, opportunity to work for Jindal Group also. Like Hisar is the older place, almost 50 year old car. Now they have a volume of lowest around 100 containers a month. Now Gadi Harsari, GRFL or GDL. Gateway District Park. There's no more offering a rail service or an ICT service. They have reached to their factory. They have stationed a small team over their extended office. They do transportation. What is that? In in house uh, logistic also. Within the plant also they offer the logistic services. Within the plant. So they have gone one step ahead. So they are no more only a rail operator. Everybody is competing, you know, to have their more strong presence. Now, traditionally it was only Navasheva. Private operator came like Andani developed Mudra port and Pipa also came up. Now, who has made it successful? Private train operator. They are offering you a transit time which is lower than Navasheva, which means uh, uh, your freight, your railway freight is less by 4000 rupees per container. And you are saving even time also. The transit time also is lesser because the distance is less between. North India and Navasheva compared to North India uh, uh, Mundra. So the transit time is also lesser. If the, transit, if the distance is lesser, the transit time is going to be lesser and it is going to be cheaper also. So they have brought this. I think 80% of the market goes to Mundra and to power today. Export. You know. Well, you may differ, but this is a fact actually. Well, I do not really want to talk too much about it here. You know everything. New thing has happened is which I already mentioned, DPE. After this now, import me DPD, direct port delivery, which has taken away a lot of business from the port terminals. It has gone directly from the port to the factories, you know, for destuffing. Similar thing has happened in export also. That's called direct port entry, which means you have factory in the factory and you the port in the port of loading. The terminal of port of loading, you have sent the container directly after stuffing it in your factory. So that is a new thing which has happened. Again, I have emphasized on the solas. Please do not forget that. It's very, very important. Now, city pad, you have to USP, 
which is nothing but uh, custom trade partnership against terrorism. So Indian custom has also kind of uh, supported it. Now this is the this is something which few of you would be aware of it, but authorized economic operator and exporter can also become all the stakeholders can become AEOs. Logistic service provider also, ICD, shipping lines uh, and uh, freight forwarders. And exporter also becomes AEO. The benefit is that you will have uh, a faster inspection of goods in customs. In fact, they will accept your advanced declaration before the cargo arrival. So that is a certification which is given by customs. Well, there is a, there is a tier 1, 2, 3. So you can start with tier 1, you go to their website, everything is there. What is the eligibility? And it is not too difficult you know, to be a AEO. A small CHA has become a AEO. Your consignment, your buyer. Who all are they? It could be a retailer, a wholesaler, manufacturer who gets OEM product from, from you. And online e-commerce player. So they are all your buyers today. And things are changing with them as well. They negotiate nominate carriers as I have already told you. You know the consignee dictates a lot of the I think F2B for export is much more than CIF, where you control the freight. I think majority of cargo, your buyer controls the freight. Because if you see the bigger picture, like Target or Walmart or you know big players, I think everything moves on FOB. Am I right? Because they have no more they are reporting a shipping and they also have got a freight forward. I think soon you will hear ki aare ICD mein di jaye, or you use this port of loading. So they will really dictate their terms on that. Very careful, uh, this is the last thing I want to mention. Inco terms are bada dhyan di jaya. Aaj kare ki inco term chal rhi hai DAP, which is called delivered at place. Anybody has encountered this inco term? It is very dangerous for an exporter to agree with your buyer. Why? Because the seller assumes all risk involved up to the unloading. Unloading is the buyer's risk. Only unloading. But that he, you have New York, he has told me that New York's port, that he has a place in New York. Which means he will say, delivered at a place. He will mention the name of the place to you, and you agree. Suppose you agree. Now he will only, he will be only responsible to do unloading. Rest till unloading. Everything is yours. यहाँ से transportation आपकी factory से शुरू होकर ICT से rail से ocean freight से and at the other end also अगर port पे कोई उधर आ जाता है कोई accident हो जाता है you are liable for that so it's a very dangerous importer I just picked up one so that you know just to make you little aware of it so that you know you stress more on the importer which you agree with your buyer there can be a separate session on importer Well, uh, DFC, I am sure. Who is the duty in the DFC? Duty is paid by the consignment. I am not talking about DDU and DDP. No, so it's like DDP only. <coughs> it is, yeah, very right. It's like DDP. Absolutely. So, so DDU, DDU. DDU, unpaid. So, DFC is a very important project. I think it is the biggest project in India today of the Modi government. What it is doing? It is offering you two routes. One is Western Dedicated Freight uh, Corridor, which is 1506 kilometer long, starting from Dhabri <coughs> till JNP. And mind it, it is going to be double stack on electrified track, which means length and breadth of the train is going to increase. A train carries 45 wagons, which means 180 TEUs. With this, a dedicated freight corridor, where the passenger train will not go, only the freight train will go, it will be carrying 360 containers on one single train. Going to be a double stack and electrified. Electric traction is a type of car. Starting from Sanewal in Ludhiana, it reaches ends at Dantuni in West Bengal. So what are you covering? Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand and Mishnu. So 
we are okay we are talking about exim but it's a i think lifeline for even the domestic business also what next <coughs> national logistic policy i am sorry npl is another idea npl is also a term which is used in our industry but national logistic policy uh, see in the nutshell i will tell you it is going to give a number one visibility to your shipment number two you expect better infrastructure at the port en route and at the hinterlands so that is the key thing you know is going to happen which is related to you so i'm not going to stress too much on this right now it is it is supported by <coughs> pradhan mantri gati shakti national master plan also aur wo kitna bada project hai wo hai 100 lakh crore project i think this is the biggest as on date so what is this going to do i'll, I'll make it very fast it has brought in something called ulip uh, in a way you can say it's like a upi your know, ulip is unified logistic platform you know interface platform where six ministries have roped in into one single platform and they were working in silos like ministry of road and uh, road transportation and highways ministry of port and shipping and waterways minister of civil aviation so they were all working in silos they have brought it into a single platform called ulip so they are going to be coming out with a portal also where you can have an access to their all policies all tariffs everything is going to be visible in one portal well i would like to share two development which has happened related to these big projects on a realistic sense otherwise news paper mein nazar aata hai sari development ya media mein two very important thing which you must know a double stack train from dadri has been flagged off to mundra port it's a double stack train and there is a new terminal gati shakti cargo terminal gct the first one has come up at new riwadi jahan se they will also run a double stack to mundra port so these two things have happened on a ground level so it is not only a kind of a bookish it has happened on the ground so these two things which has uh, happened during this month is something very important to kind of brought to your notice so objective i just made it in conclusion i would like to say successfully exporting craft products to international market required tech based low cost and seamless integrated logistics solution matching world standard of safety and security i think this is a very general statement that it covers everything actually yeah, this sums up everything yes so i would like to ask you any question i'm sorry i think i received it but first to be honest you know now it's given like the concept time uh, we just wanted to know more about the cargo damage and claim like there is a stakeholder which is basically i would request uh, sir if we can have a separate session on that uh, it's a big uh, uh, yeah you see i think you you have heard something called general average very dangerous subject huh? we mentioned many times law oh, you have just done general average general average is something which is not supporting export i am sorry to say agar koi jahaz mein aag lag jati hai ya wo jahaz doob jata hai which actually is happening yeah that's why i am touching the subject is not we can only assume it is actually happening i am sorry to say now general average kya hota hai pure ship ke goods ki value ko nikala jata hai right and then it is divided amongst all the players jis jis ka cargo hai jis ka cargo bach bhi gaya suppose you are lucky enough ki aapka cargo usme se safe nikal bhi aaya aur kisi ka damage ho gaya khatam bhi ho gaya aisa situation most of the vessels mein hota hai but it is so unfortunate that you whose cargo has been in sound condition also have to pay for the people whose damage the cargo has been damaged also so in average nikal kar jo survey hai he actually brings the value of the goods and then it is being shared amongst all the exporters if it is cif and importer if it is fob so you can understand how critical is your import of goods or koi insurance cover nahi dena is abhi koi shipping line general average ka insurance ka cover de rahi hai which is exorbitant expensive i think you will never want to go for it. so this is something jo uh, claim may what a debatable subject hai actually uh, but then shipping lines uh, have to kind of you know work on this because they cannot take the liability of the complete goods which is there on the ship yeah 
So I covered because that's something which I've been doing for the last three years at the Federation cargo damage claims. It's a very oh, you good you law to be Yes. Sir, you have a below plating mix in a line which is written in below plating mix that shippers to load and come. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's all the liability you have to set up. Yes, sir. Shipping line doesn't want to pay for money. It is a legal term which is honored by international courts of the world. And shipping lines have <coughs> taken so much care of themselves, have covered all their interests with this sentence, shippers to load and count. Which means, you have done stuff, you have done it, you have done it, you have done it, you have done it, you have carry it. All below trading, if you see, factory stuff container is carrying this statement. So claim is something which, uh, which we can, lion and claims, you know, something which can, we can cover it later, you know, or in, even input terms also. In fact, I took a, a recent session on uh, COGSA, carriage of goods by sea. It is a very interesting topic, which also covers claims. And also gives you the importance of bill of lading and input on the game. Bill of lading is not the same type of seaway bill of lading, straight bill of lading, you know. So you must understand what all these imply that you to your business. Any more questions, please? लाभी से मुंह रखा, ठीक है? जो हमारा पंप कोर जो रेट लेते हैं, तो वो अलग-अलग लाइनर का अलग-अलग क्यों आते हैं दिन में, जब शिपिंग दिन होता है? जो नेक्स्ट पोर्टल, राइट? यस। ओके। अ गुड क्वेश्चन। यू सी मैम, इफ यू आर, इफ यू आर टेकिंग द सर्विस ऑफ अ फ्रेड फॉरवर्डर, दें फ्रेड फॉरवर्डर � and जो जो GST वगैरह जो है वो separate कहीं if you stress that I would like to have all the heads in the invoices railway freight क्योंकि you see you must understand for export if you are doing business at Dadri there is something called PDA line at PDA what is that pre deposit account so PDA you have to give the money in advance and the radio freight will be deducted from there. Now all exporters can't afford to do that. I think you have to do PDA. You don't have to do that. So your CHA or your forwarder will be PDA. So he pays on behalf, the railway freight on behalf of you and then comes back to you with an invoice saying this is railway freight, this is terminal handling charges, this is you know other activities. He gives all of them separately mentioned. And I would advise you to take the invoices under all heads. जितनी भी एक्टिविटी है, रेल का रिसीव, लगा कर देता है, very good. दूसरा ये है, जैसे हमारा एक डील करते हैं, नवा शिवा से, एपीज करते हैं, एपीज शिपिंग लाइन है, एपीज, एपीज, ए टू जेड होगा? ना ना, एपीज. अच्छा, what is that supposed to be? Powder. अच्छा फिर उसपे जो टर्मिनल हैंडलिंग चार्जेस मतलब उसका कुछ रेट नहीं है जैसे मान लीजिए कभी पार सीबीएम 1150 तो 650 टर्मिनल हैंडलिंग चार्जेस नो यू मस्ट डू वन थिंग आपको पता है कौन सा टर्मिनल यूज हुआ है यू कैन गो टू देयर वेबसाइट एवरीबॉडी हैज देयर टर्मिनल हैंडलिंग चार्जेस मेंश Suppose exporter भी है, shipping line charges you in two ways. If they leave it on to you, whether it is you want to pay as a merchant hall, जिसमें railway freight direct train operator को जाता है, shipping line also pay takes a charges on a carrier hall. Covid time में मतलब वो हिंदी में बोलते हैं ना अति कर दी थी लोगों ने. Shipping line was saying that I will pay on your behalf. You have to pay to me. So export has to mandatorily take place on a carrier hall. और उसमें मोटा मार्जिन था उसका, you know, and you are paying just like an import today, because import में you have to imperatively pay to the shipping line, export में covid में भी यही कर दिया, कि आप ये हमें भी दे दो। shipping में तो invoice हमारा bill में जो invoice आते हैं, उसमें pre carriage, pre carriage एक charges लगा के देते हैं। मैं इफ यू ऑफलाइन में आप मेरे को अगर वो डॉक्टर दिखा सकते हैं आई कैन एनालाइज इट एंड टेल यू दैट 
तो ऑपरेशनल फैक्टर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जब आपका फैक्ट्री होगा उसके आसपास में फैदर इट इज सेफ साउंड सिक्योर राइट एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर और भी इंपॉर्टेंट है कस्टमर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स यू नो आप तो बायर के साथ डील करते हैं यू नो बट कैंड ऑफ बायर इज इज मोटी है चिड़ जाता है इरिटेटिंग है रात को 12 बजे फोन करता है सुबह 4 बजे फोन करता है सोने नहीं देता है सो यू हैव टू टेक ऑल दिस इनटू अकाउंट व्हेन यू डील विद योर बायर राइट इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ अदर इट इज अ सी शिपमेंट और इफ इट इज अ एयर शिपमेंट 185 कंट्रीज आर द यूनाइटेड नेशंस राइट This is your market. Lajpat Nagar, Kolar Place, Bangalore. Aim at this. I always emphasize on this point. LCL to FCL, Singapore to this. This is the market. Aim at this. If you aim at this now, then only you will reach from here to here, farthest point, and here, and then to Australia and New Zealand. Right, these are four corners of excel. You can, with the existing facilities that the government is giving, and with the initiative of the local, of the present government, you can do it. Lot of hard work. So, all right, you agree with me? But most traded items are very different, not handicrafts. It is cars and crude. They replace it with Indian handicrafts. Why not? Maybe next time when I come here after a year, we change this and see the shawls, the brasses, and what not. Yeah. So that should say most traded items in the world, or most traded items in India. Okay. लार्जेस्ट कंट्रीज बाय इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड हमारा इसमें नाम नहीं है आ रहा है धीरे धीरे वेद फिफ्थ इकोनॉमी इन द वर्ल्ड नाउ वी हैव जंप क्वाइट अ बिट इसका मतलब हम आ रहे हैं इंचिंग टुवर्ड्स दैट राइट आई थिंक आई वाज इन टेंथ और समथिंग नाइन का टेंथ राइट इसमें मतलब आई थिंक अराउंड दैट दिस इन दिस लिस्ट नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट एक्सपोर्ट लॉजिस्टिक्स थोड़े थोड़े पॉइंट्स There are three things in this integral part of export operation. What is critical elements of logistic system? What is our international transport system? On this three basis, we have our export and logistic chapter. So quickly go through this one by one. Critical elements of logistic system. You have every product. Now you are doing it. Maybe you have some other product that you are adding next year. Not necessarily we always carry all the handicraft. Okay? The nature of product. के ऊपर डिपेंड करता है व्हाट काइंड ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन यू विल यूज लोकेशन ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्लांट अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ डिफरेंट मोड्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसी ये सब तो इस अंडरस्टूड अगर आपका कोर्ट के पास में फैक्ट्री है यू सेव इट ऑल ऑफ मनी ऑन ट्रांसपोर्ट राइट सो दैट्स व्हाई यू सी टू गो टू चेन्नई You see all the automobile cars. Everybody is there near the port. Sir, don't tell you can't get there. You go there, pass the port, get pass the port, get pass the port. Everywhere it is this now. Now this way. Look at Kandy. A is very. Everything is fine. This line I give lot of emphasis. Government policy. After shipment airport, jara. Suddenly you find, rat ko announcement ho gaya. Ye duty kar gaya. Ya bade gaya five to six percent. Kya kar gaya? बताइए व्हाट डू यू डू ये आपका क्रॉस में होना चाहिए व्हेन यू डू एंड बायर के साथ एग्रीमेंट जब करते हैं देयर मस्ट बी एन एग्रीमेंट इन दिस दैट गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसी इज एनी चेंज एंड ऑल दैट इसको डाल दीजिएगा दिस इज लीगल डॉक्यूमेंट नाउ इससे पहले भी था आजकल ज्यादा बायर और सेलर के बीच में देयर हैज टू बी अ लीगल रेट हट 80 से 85 हो गई लोग हो सकता है हो रहा है राइट अभी थोड़ा सा स्टेबल तो गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसीज कीप चेंजिंग आजकल तो वेबसाइट में आ जाता है मेरे ख्याल से 
but you keep it there. Or read the newspapers. Economic Times, Business Standard, you have to export it. You must be aware of what is happening every day. So read the Economic Times, keep it with you. I have a copy, I'll give it to you later, which I just got in two days back. That this truck is CNG. If you have gas, if you go to the port, you will get a discount incentive. It will come to your cost. Will it come or not? So, this is only two days back, I think it's not in the end. So, international transport system, there are four, by sea, by air, by road, and by rail. Ocean transport, sea is fine, air transport, these are big cargo aircraft. We have three of them in Air Force also. This is called Air Force Kajaraj but these are all, these are very huge, huge cargo aircraft. This is tankers, tanks, big tanks, big machines. They are all loaded here. I had once an opportunity to charter a cargo aircraft from Moscow to Delhi. We are picking up MiG engines from here to Moscow and back. I went to Moscow, talked to these guys, the owners of this. They quoted me about, I think, it was in the mid 90s I'm talking about, I went to Moscow. For one A32, I think it was. A32 aircraft. I still remember they quoted 50,000 US dollars in the 90s for one trip from Moscow to Delhi and back. And it took me seven days with the help of an interpreter to bring it down to 46,000 US dollars. So seven days. What I'm saying is to negotiate, you have to negotiate at every point. Every point you have to negotiate. There are those living territory, whether it is shipping line, you know, buyer, or anybody, even for the part of the CHA. So negotiation is very key to road transport. क्या बता सकते हैं रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट इंडिया में कहां कहां से रोड से जा सकता है एक्सपोर्ट एनीबॉडी रोड से हम एक्सपोर्ट करते हैं कहां कहां जा सकता है देखिए चार पांच और चार ही बात है हां पाकिस्तान पांच और अफगानिस्तान अफगानिस्तान नहीं हुआ एक छूट रहा है I want the sixth name, that's all. Chanpa. Huh? No? By road. By China. Bangladesh. No, Bangladesh is here. No, not China. Myanmar. Yes, what is it? Myanmar? Yes, that is the latest. Through Dimapu, they have meant an ICD there. I have been to that ICD. Dimapu. So that is the sixth one. So road transport is limited, but Pakistan is not the one that is not big. Bangladesh, Nepal is not much, but yes. So, export may, road transport is there and rail also the same thing. Rail may ek do or ghandi hai actually. Thikha, Bangladesh hai, Pakistan hai, Nepal nahi hai. So, these are the four system of international trade. Ek or hai. Can somebody highlight me? Ye kaha se kaha koi service hai or India hai? Inland waterway transportation. Varanasi to? Calcutta. Calcutta, right. Haldiya Pohl. But this inland waterway transportation has a lot of emphasis. A lot of emphasis. A lot of emphasis. You will take it in it. It is very cheap. By road, it is also very cheap. So, if you have a lot of people, please have a look. This is very interesting actually. Yes, sir, I am going to start. Okay. So, selecting the right mode, handicrafts, garments, flowers, fresh fruits. We will talk about handicrafts. We will talk about this. Okay. 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 Okay.
certain decisions you must take as an exporter. I was myself a CIT here in Delhi for 20 years. I had an IATA, I had a CIT. And we talked at customs examination that Mr. Malhotra saw. Mr. Kiel Varma used to be the customs collector. He called me, he said, Hamarath ki university hai ni na, aapkaam gold medal dhe. Don't bank on anybody. When you select the route, you select for the research ki jiye na, usi na bank ke. Right? Bhoog farak pad jaya ka freight. Thik hai? Mumbai se jaya ka, ki NPT se jaya ka, ki Kabradar se jaya ka, ki Paradip se jaya ka, ki Kolkata se jaya ka. Depends kahaan aapka bhejana hai, aur ki sport se jaya ka. This decision is your own. You can discuss with CHA, you can discuss with the shipping line. But decision is your own. Which decision as an exporter you must take yourself? Most of the time, the credit is paid by the buyer. Most of the time, not necessary. Not most of the time. Most of the time. Not necessary. Not necessary. There are many, at least in my time,
जस्ट आईसीटी का एक वन थिंग आई लाइक टेल यू नेट सीएल शिपमेंट्स पे यू सेल ये बिल ऑफ लेडिंग को चेक कीजिए उसमें से एक गलती आपका पेमेंट रोक सकता है वन कंटेनर नंबर एक्स जे के यू टू फोर फाइव सिक्स के लेकर सिक्स के लेकर सेवन आ गया तो आपका एलसी एक स्टार्ट को पेमेंट कर दीजिए पेमेंट डिलेट मिक्स सो चेक ऑन दिस बिल ऑफ लेडिंग एंड ऑल दिस ईयर ऑलरेडी स्पोकन एंड कॉल कॉल इट स्टार्टेड व्हेन आई मूव्ड फ्रॉम एयर एडवांटेज टू कोलार्ट प्लेस माय ऑफिस एंड फ्रॉम कोलार्ट प्लेस एवरी डे वे बैक एट दैट टाइम इट वाज इन प्रगति बैंक stop over to pragati manan and then go then we are talking about 86 87 88 89 45 years all those years this is very important news look at this first truck sent to bangladesh by sea in chennai all the automobile company ashok uh, ashok led they were sending by truck to bangladesh and used to take 15 days they took a ship In three days time, we reached Bangladesh with almost one fourth of freight. So all these we have to explore, right? जैसे जैसे आता जाता है तो मैं काट के लगाता जाता हूँ. Mark's like he was talking about actually. Mark should build solid network of ICTs in India, and it's already there. Okay, now little bit of quiz now. बहुत हो गया पढ़ाई. पढ़ाई ज़्यादा नहीं होना चाहिए. Can you identify this? Three, four people, and why is why is this photograph here? जल्दी जल्दी करेंगे तो मजा आएगा. Handicap से related है. मैं दूसरा नहीं बात कर रहा हूँ. इन्होंने बोला handicap में बात करना है. Four people. Modi भी नो. And these are the head of state. That is the US, German, this is the French. क्या कर रहे हैं ये लोग? पता है? This is the last G20 summit that Prime Minister went to Bali. And he presented each one with the Indian handicraft item. This is just for you. और आपको बता दूँ क्या है डिटेल या आप यू विल नो. It's very interesting आपके लिए. You can Kangra miniature painting. जिस देश के head of the state को Prime Minister has given, you can get into that country. Get in touch with the buyers there and tell them that this is what has given to your prime minister by our prime minister. Look at this item; we can give you. These are unique handicraft pieces in our country. Unique, absolutely. And you pick it up. When you come to the paper, it's written there. India has given it. Look at this, right? See, it's, uh, it says the kamala miniature paintings from himachal pradesh the paintings depict shingar rasa on a natural organic backdrop the style rich is genuine during the reign of maharaja sansar chand katoch katoch was a great patron of kamala interesting aapko bahar bhi de raha hu main dekhiye okay next now ka chal raha hai sir this is a kada one थोड़ा सा बता देता हूँ पूरा पटन में तो टाइम लग जाएगा पटन पटोला स्कार्फ डिटेल्स है मेरे पास आपको दे देंगे ये कलरफुल नहीं नो सॉरी दिस इज माता नी पचेरी ए हैंडमेड टेक्सटाइल पीस क्राफ्टेड बाय द नोमैडिक कम्युनिटी ऑफ ऑगरेस इन गुजरात नेक्स्ट इज ये देखिए पटन पटोला स्कार्फ कलरफुल दुपट्टा नॉर्दर्न गुजरात नेक्स्ट पिथोरा वॉल पेंटिंग मेड बाय रथवा आर्टिशन फ्रॉम छोटा उदयपुर इन गुजरात ये देखिए गिफ्टेड कनाल ब्रास सेट फ्रॉम हिमाचल मंडी एंड कुलू डिस्ट्रिक्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर वाज गिवन दिस Kinali Shaw was presented to Indonesian President. Hey, God, I tell you. ये पता है क्या ये? The silver bowl is a century-old craft perfected by the traditional and highly skilled metal smiths of Surat. Surat. Leaders of France, Germany, Singapore received photos. The 
the semi precious stone formed of calcedonic silica is found underground mines of Tajpipla and Ratanpur. So these are seven products for you to work on from today onwards. Talk to the high commissions of that country today and send a mail to them tomorrow. You will get a response within two days time, I can tell you. I have been writing to these trade commissioners. Now each our embassy or high commissions, they have the trade commissioners now. After 2014, this development has taken place, right? Write to them, you will get a reply. Pehle nahi milta tha. I have been trying from right from 1990 अगर आपके कुछ पॉइंट्स होंगे, एयर कार्गो इज एक्सपेंसिव, फास्ट मूविंग वाला राइट। अगर आप मिस कर गए आपका सी शिपमेंट, और बाहर कहता है कि भेजो जल्दी मुझे तो चाहिए, यू हैव टू गो टू द एयर लाइन्स। तो इट इज फास्ट मूवमेंट ऑफ़ वुड, सेफ एंड रिलायबल, बट फ्रेड इज एक्सपेंसिव। या, yeah, so smallest damage, modest packaging requirements and short capital lockup periods. I'm not going to say that, actually, so you do that. Just to give you an idea, what kind of loading happens in an aircraft? If it is a heavy item, there are a few cargo aircraft, the engine is in front of you, and then it is rolled on to like this. Sandro. Sandro. Yeah, yeah. These are all Russian cargo aircraft, so all like that, right? And, but these are the disadvantages of air cargo. <coughs> Just for you, high transport cost, load capacity is limited. It has happened with me once. There are thousand cartons of pharmaceutical products going to Moscow. Six fifty seven fifty load hone ke baad bolta hai jagan. <coughs> Two fifty lagi. Truck shipment. Fir kya tine din ke baad? But if there is no LCM clause, if there is no trunk shipment, then I am sunk. I have been minimized a little bit. It was a lot earlier. Correct. Because one is more than the passenger. If the passenger is in the trade off, there is a belly loading, then it is done. Cargo is chartered, then there is no problem. The load capacity is limited. If you get 10 people, और 200 कार्टन डालो ऐसा ऐसा तो होता नहीं है लोग तो उतरे के नहीं कार्गो तो जाने ही जाना है सो दिस हैपन स्ट्रेच प्रॉब्लम डिपेंडेंसियल एयरपोर्ट्स जस्ट टू बी ऑल एयरपोर्ट्स आर नॉट कस्टम फ्रेंडली राइट पहले एक आयता की किताब आती थी आजकल तो शायद सब नेट पे ही आ गया है मेरे ख्याल से हर एक एयरपोर्ट के बगल में लिखा हुआ कस्टम है कि अगर नहीं है तो नियर एस्ट अगर बाहर बोलेगा यहाँ तक भेज दो वहाँ से आप बना लें ये होता है वो देख लीजिएगा जब भी ऑर्डर देंगे कोई रिमोट प्लेस को याद किया तो, ओके, सो थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट, कार्गो, ओनली कार्गो, मिलिट्री, ओनली मिलिट्री, पैसेंजर विद बेली कार्गो, जनरली जो आप एयरपोर्ट जाएंगे, एनजीआई में जाएंगे, तो सुबह सुबह जो प्लेन आते हैं वहीं पर आपका कार्गो टाइम नहीं है, तो मेन भी पैसेंजर है, चार्ट this is one cargo. These are all C1 Citra. Abhi abhi Sudan ja ke do kiya hai Kaveri. Operation Kaveri. This is the aircraft which has gone. Huh? One had a very difficult landing last night. Light nahi tha wahan. Airstrip pe light nahi tha. And how difficult it is for a pilot to land on an airstrip when there is no light can imagine. 120 people. Ek pregnant lady bhi thi usme. These are all this aircraft. Right? This is just a photographs somebody had given to me. When these aircrafts come from our station, this has come from France actually, yeah, the USA wala. So all the crew, US and Indian, everybody, samne khada ho ke. Moment look. Okay. Kitna time hai, five minutes hai? Five minutes more. Okay. Quickly, aircraft train, aap loo ko zaani ki, just for your information, short hal hota hai, chota aircraft, bula, landing hai. 
जैसे से जल्दी टू आ गए टेक ऑफ किया जाते ही बोलेगा वी एल लैंड दैट इज वन मीडियम रेल और लंबा यहां से बॉम्बे लॉन्ग हॉल इंटरकॉन्टिनेंटल बट सबके ऊपर दीज थिंग्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लोडिंग कैपेसिटी मैक्सिमम टेक ऑफ वेट वेट ऑफ कार्गो बेसिक वेट ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट फ्यूल एंड नंबर ऑफ पैसेंजर्स आपको ख्याल रखना पड़ेगा व्हेन यू बुक योर शिपमेंट बाय एयर व्हेन यू टॉक टू द एयरलाइंस टेल देम कौन से एयरक्राफ्ट कितना टाइम लगता है गुरुता का एक फ्लाइट है उधर उधर के जाएगा क्या करके जाएगा बताओ हां सो आस्क देम ऑल दिस राइट इट सो हैपेंड वंस सिंगापुर में जाके उतार दिया पूरा कार्य एंड दे टू अनदर वर्क राइट तो आजकल होता नहीं आजकल आई थिंग वेरी स्ट्रीम लाइन बट स्टिल दे कैन डू दैट बट एयरक्राफ्ट रेंज वे आर सही मीन दीज आर ऑल काइंड ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट फीचर ऑपरेटिंग जस्ट आपको हैंड ओवर कर दिया तो डजन मिनट भी चला जाएगा जल्दी तो मेरे हमारे पास तो है ही नहीं बड़ा वाला एयरक्राफ्ट आएगा कल परसों आएगा सो types of loading this is side way one was right remember for your any air shipment if there is a problem aita is the boss international air transport association they are the boss of all the airlines every will sab ka aapka if you have any problem with them directly contact this guy yaad rakhiyega aita is very important organization right every will be discussed Airway, yeah, like bill of lading, and uh, dangerous goods you are not. You know this entire procedure, right? <clears throat> I'll quickly go through it. He has already covered Mr. Malhotra actually quite in detail and all that. Booking space with the airline. All this is given to this CHA. Which you have done, Mr. Malhotra.
Thank you, Mr. Malik. It's a very, very genuine question which you have asked. And this question has been there, you know, for decades. Yeah, it's going on. And uh, I would say, uh, you see, if we are talking about shipping line charges, it is governed internationally. And any activity which shipping lines actually is carrying on locally, it is basically controlled by an organization called International Maritime Organization, IMO. Now, the thing is that not only the DOP or a BLP, in fact, shipping line has they have gone ahead to have their own inlet and college transportation charges, IHC, we call it in imports. Each shipping company has got their separate IH set of IC tariff. If you go to Musk, they will charge something else. You go to uh, Hepagloid or CMA, from the same point, it's to point movement, means from Navasheva to Delhi, all the shipping are charged separate charges. So unfortunately, I am very sorry to say there is no forum who can address your this question. Now what solution I have in mind, I would like to tell you. Number one, if any shipping line, you are making first time booking with any shipping company, they are supposed to do KYC, right? Even custom does KYC. So at that point of time, before first booking, they will ask, they are supposed to ask the documents like your PAN card and everything. Once you have carried out a shipment with one particular shipment, second shipment they should not be demanding any document from you. You can object. So you are supposed, this is, it's a dutiful thing, you are supposed to give your KYC to the shipping line. You know, it's an international kind of a movement. So they are right in asking you all the set of documents. But this is only one time thing. And as far as the charges is concerned, what solution I have with me is, everything is negotiable. As Mr. Mukherjee also mentioned, you must be very strict. Do not assume that this is a standard cost. If, if everybody charges separate charges for the same point to point movement, it means it is negotiable. You are not going in uh, Indian railways that you have to pay fare or freight through a tariff. It is an independent, we call it inland arbitration. It is arbitrary charges. So you call the shipping line, today there is a huge, huge supply available, right? Shipping lines are actually going everywhere to seek shipment. They are hunting for the shipment. You negotiate everything like they were very <coughs> adamant in the COVID time that, you know, they, in fact, they have something called sea going charges. Can you just Im imagine? I have never heard in my lifetime that there is something called sea going charges. Where else the cargo will go, you know, if it has to go by sea. So, all the charges which came into the mind during COVID, unfortunately, the, the ex export community had to pay through their nose. But this is your time. You negotiate every damn thing. Even if there is no forum, you are an independent forum of your own. You call the shipping line, say I have got this curtain, or you tell freight forwarders. They, you tell forwarder, you pay whatever charges to shipping and I'll pay you this if you want shipping. So if it is CIA shipment prepaid where you control the freight, you have right of negotiation. But if it is unfortunately it is FOB, then as Madam has said, you know, I'm sorry I'm forgetting the name. So you told me that, you know, uh, some forwarder I should not be taking name, that they were charging anything, you know. So then, you know, in that case also, as an exporter, you go back to the buyer and say that... Sir, you have to ask them that this is Hepagloid, this is CMA, CGM, so you have to pay this because there is a variation in this rate. Look, ma'am, in FOB, you are, your hands are tied actually. But you can always raise the point to the buyer. Because what happens in the nomination, whosoever is the player, they want to dictate their terms. That you have to give these charges. And unfortunately, Malik sir, there is no government authority or a regulatory body which controls, you know, the freight rate or the charges or anything, you know, related to shipping. I don't know if it is there, Mukherjee sir, in the air freight. Yeah. Thank you. Steve, why don't you represent the government of India that why don't we have a regulatory body which governs the prices of this? So, if you don't have a shipping line, then who will represent you? I think it's a very important point. If you don't have a shipping line, then who will represent you? Yes, 
that is the thing why why there is so much of variation yes. because of that. I think it is something to do with the law of the sea also. Because a lot of time we find this miscellaneous charges, <coughs> three thousand rupees sometimes, you know, documentation charges, sometimes unpacking charges, sometimes repacking charges by carton. I mean, the time is so short. One already we are waiting for the beer, and they say that within three days you get the beer. We otherwise we'll put the charge of two thousand five hundred again with GST. So all those things are, I mean, uh, now there is no forum, so we will fight it ourselves, I request everyone to, you know. Sir, one thing I want to say. Yes, please. You see, try to mention all the charges on the bill of lading. On the body of the bill of lading, you tell your buyer also, and if it is CIF, you should do that. If it is FOP, then your buyer should, you should do that. Demand <coughs> and all the charges, because, see, shipping line has to document those charges. You know, it will be a little bit scared. So, so I think, uh, yes, sir, I think it's a long way to go. GFT may be coffee. Yeah, but yeah, we will. जो जो वैसे कोरोना टाइम हुए थे शिपिंग ने ने थोक के चार्जेस मारे थे. तो उसमें there lot of उस समय तो जैसा आप कह रहे हो ना मतलब जो wildness possible ring में उनको wildness बिल्कुल बना देते हैं. I'm so sorry for this community that you have to pay through your nose actually. Exactly. But the good thing is it's your time now. It's your time. Well said. Yes. Yes, because a lot of time we have express release of uh, BL. Some companies are charging 1100 rupees, some are charging 3100 rupees. So whatever I mean, there is no fixed charge. And it's, a, it's not a time to, you know, we can have time to argue on the charges or revise the, and it's the, like corporate company that to change even 100 rupees, that it goes through, you know, so many people and it's technically impossible that you give up, okay, let it be. At least we can, buyer can have a shift. So very well, thank you so much, Alu Waliya Ji and Mukherjee Ji. I pass it on to our uh, former uh, chairman, Ravi Pasi Ji, for his comment. Thank you so much. Uh, so I now request Mr. Pasi. Uh, I think that's it. Add to what? I don't know. I only two words because he said two words. So two words. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's been a long time. We've been doing it for two hours. So I am just taking one two points के आप भी जैसे कई बार shipments warehouse में होती हैं office के अंदर होती हैं तो आप एक चीज का थोड़ा सा ध्यान रखें अगर आप insurance कराते हैं तो insurance आपकी कहाँ से होनी चाहिए आपने warehouse से क्योंकि in between अगर कुछ हो जाता है पीछे एक TKD के अंदर भी कुछ fire वगैरह हुई थी प्रिंस जी का भी कुछ सामान था वो उसका था आसान था थोड़ा सा सामान सारा चला गया क्योंकि अगर उनके इंश्योरेंस ऑफिस से ठीक है नहीं तक होती तो ते इंश्योरेंस वगैरह इनको सारा कुछ मिल जाता है तो ये भी पॉइंट छोटे हैं मगर कई बार हम दो पैसे बचाते हैं छोड़ो यार क्या लेना वो आएगा फिर आएगा उसको आप काफी डाउन हो गए हैं क्योंकि कोरोना टाइम के अंदर मुझे पता है कि पीयूष गोयल जी के हमारे यहाँ मीटिंग होती थी अक्सर ये मुद्दा आता था कि आठ हजार डॉलर कंटेनर रोज लड़ाई होती थी शिपिंग लाइन वाले कहते हैं कि ये रेडी मैन आप कौन गवर्नमेंट को आपका कोई वो कहते हैं हम जा करें भाई ये तो इसे डिमांड आज आपका टाइम है आप नेगोशिएट कर सकते हैं हाँ जी ये ये चार्जेस आप देंगे और जो क्लीनिंग वाले सीएचए वाले इनसे भी आप कह सकते हैं कि इतने चार्जेस क्या ये चार्जेस और लगा देते हैं बीएल पे कभी फिफ्टी वन हंड्रेड और कहीं बीआर ना सो दिस टिल टुडे इसको बड़े साल हो गए हैं पैंती � फिर उसके नीचे ट्रांसपोर्ट चार्जेस, टेम्पो चार्जेस, ब्लाब 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 करके वो पता चलता है नीचे कितने का प्रेड थी कितने वो पैसे ले लेते थे। मगर अब सारा वर्क और टाइम, बिजनेस का टाइम, सारी चीजें बिल्कुल चेंज हो गई हैं। हमारे उस टाइम से अगर नेक्स्ट जेनरेशन को आपने अपने बच्चों जैसे ग्लोबलाइजेशन हो रही है तो आप कुछ पेंट सामान भेजते हो कोई कहाँ भेजता है आप बोलेंगे यार दो बच्चे हैं मेरे चल तो एक को वहाँ बैठ और यहाँ से मैं सामान करता हूँ ये भी टाइम आ गया देन ये सोच लो कि मैं आप बुरा नहीं मानना कि फिर शायद हो सकता है कि पार्टनर भी ना जाए या जनपद ना जाए या कोई और रमेश मार्केट के नाम जाना हो क्योंकि वही तो सामान वहीं मिलेगा 
जो आपका जो नेक्स्ट जनरेशन होगी लेना देना जो भी है ये भी टाइम आने वाला है वेट फॉर अदर टेन ईयर प्रोसेस तो वी हैव टू परफेक्ट फॉर एवरीथिंग थैंक यू सो मच एक बात कहना चाहूंगा जस्ट फॉर आवर मेंबर्स आई लाइक टू शेयर वो टीकेडी की बात हुई थी जहां फायर हुई थी तो आप ये मानेंगे कि अगर कभी को आपका कोई भी सामान है आप टीकेडी भेजते हैं नवा शेवा भेजते हैं कॉम्पोर से तो आपका जैसे 10000 डॉलर का सामान है 50000 डॉलर का सामान है आपको 50 रुपीस केजी ही मिलेगा आप जहां मर्जी कोर्ट भी चले जाएं वो रेलवे एक्ट के अंदर आता है हमारे तो उसमें हमारा जब ये टीकेडी में फायर हुई तो 65000 डॉलर का सामान था उसका जरा 1 लाख रुपया मिला था हमारा अभी तक हाई कोर्ट में चल रहा है तो वेयर आउट टू वेयर आउट इंश्योरेंस जरूर कराएं दिस इज माय आई मीन एडवाइस टू एवरीवन अदरवाइज कभी इस हैपन हो जाता तो 50 रुपीस की केजी मिले जो कार्टन इसका रेट होता जाते हैं उसे एनओसी लेने पता है वो क्लॉज नंबर दिखाता है देखो 121 के अंदर लिखा हुआ हम आपको 50 रुपीस पर स्क्वायर फीट देंगे दो ना आप अपना अगर हमारी पेमेंट लेट होती है यू आर चार्जिंग 1.8 18% और जब देने की बारी आती है तो वो आपको पचास रुपये स्केर फिट के हिसाब से पकड़ा देगा तीन तीन लाख रुपया देगा सोलह साल का और आपसे जो उसने लिया है एटीन परसेंट वो बनता है तीस लाख सो ये चीजें आप थोड़ी थोड़ी समझ आई है मगर आप थोड़ा लेट भी हो गए हैं एनी वे थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच सर आप छोटे से फोन बोलना चाहते हैं सर एक छोटा सा इनको चल रहा है एक्सपर्ट्स उसको भी ध्यान में रखिएगा क्योंकि आजकल एक्सपर्ट्स की शिफ्टमेंट भी काफी आती है जिसमें रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी कंसाइनी की बन जाती है कंसाइनी इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू पिक अप योर कार्गो फ्रॉम योर फैक्ट्री सो दैट्स टेक केयर ऑफ द इंश्योरेंस पार्ट ऑफ इट आल्सो नाउ कंसाइनी इज रिस्पांसिबल फॉर एनी डैमेज बिल्कुल दैट इज अ मैं ये नहीं कह रहा उसको पर थोक दो बट देन दिस इनकम टर्म्स इज अवेलेबल या देन ये बायर हैज टू पे फॉर एवरीथिंग जैसे डैप डैप का बताया था अदर वे राउंड
हम लोग मैं चेयरमैन या रवि जी हम लोग जाके एक ही हमारी प्रॉब्लम होती थी कि हमारे यहाँ एक्सपोर्ट में हमारा इंफ्रा और लॉजिस्टिक बहुत दूर है अब पिछले कुछ दस साल से इस सरकार ने इतनी मेहनत उसके ऊपर करी है इतना कुछ करा है आप समझ सकते हो कि जो फ्रेड कॉरिडोर ये सब चीजें हुई हैं इसके अंदर पिछले मैं किसी गवर्नमेंट की फेवर की बात नहीं कर रहा मैं एक सरकार की बात कर रहा हूँ ये अगर हमारा शायद अगर तीस चालीस साल पहले ये चीज हो जाती तो हम इसके नंबर पांच ही जाए नंबर एक ही होते ये मेरा आइडिया मेरे मेरी सोच है ठीक है जी तो मैं मैं एज ए एक्सपीरियंस बात कर रहा हूँ एज ए बिजनेस मैन नॉट एज ए पॉलिटिशियन मेरा मुझसे कंसर्न नहीं है पर जो अच्छी चीज़ है उसको अप्रिशिएट करना बंद पड़ा है तो हमारी ये सरकार पीयूष जी के साथ में रवि जी की सेकड़ो मीटिंग हुई होगी हम लोग अभी भी उनके साथ स्पीच में हमारी मीटिंग हुई है रवि जी भी से तो हम लोगों को उन्होंने इस तरीके से अब कहा हुआ है सरकार की पॉलिसी कि हम लोग सब्सिडी इंसेंटिव इन चीजों को सरकार का मकसद नहीं है उनका एक ही पॉलिसी है कि अगर हमने आईटी सेक्टर को कभी कुछ नहीं दिया आज ये उनको हमने कुछ नहीं दिया आज तक इंडिया ने तो उनकी जो टर्न ओवर है बिना बैसाखी के वो चले गए बाकी हर सेक्टर में बैसाखियाँ दी गई किसी को इंसेंटिव दिया किसी को ये दिया किसी को खुलाफ ये दिया तो वो आज तक लगनाती है सहारे I am also chairman of FIO, which is around 37 councils. I was also chairman of the Northern India, which is around 35,000 exporters. So, their goal is that we have exporters or industry to give up. We will give up our own, but we will give up all the facilities. We will give up all the infrastructure, logistics, कंटेनर की प्रॉब्लम सरकार ने बड़ी उसकी और मेहनत करी थी ये देखिए पर आई रियली अप्रिशिएट ऑल द काउंसिल जो आप फाइट करती हैं हमारी पी ओ की पी सी आई की नंबर वन इन और काउंसिल जो उसकी सुनी जाती है सरकार ध्यान से सुनती है हमारी यंग यंग जनरेशन बहुत अच्छी आई है और मैं समझता हूँ अगले पाँच साल में हम इंडिया को आप लोगों की मदद से प्रोडक्ट की वजह से इंडस्ट्री की वजह से काफ़ी आगे जाएंगे और हमारे ऐसे मुखर्जी जैसे और आलू वाले जैसे स्पेशलिस्ट बैठे हुए हैं हमें इसमें मदद करेंगे अगला कदम कैसे लें कहाँ से लें कैसे चलें तो इन शब्दों के साथ आई रियली थैंक यू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड मिस्टर आलू वालिया एंड मिस्टर मुखर्जी थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर वेरी इनकरेजिंग वर्ड नाउ बिफोर वी क्लोज वी हैव मोमेंट क्लोज टू बिगेन टू आर गेस्ट स्पीकर अमेरिकन चैनल सर Now we 